Here in the neck, these are the salivary glands, and these little round things on top of them are the lymph nodes. If you lift that up here in the neck area, this ringed structure is the trachea, and the esophagus is located next to it. If you follow that down, you get to the heart. You can see this rat's been injected. This is the aorta, and then you have the two carotid arteries that go up into the neck. There's your heart, and the two organs to each side are the lungs. Here, between the thoracic cavity, which is like the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity, we have this muscle, that's the diaphragm, and the liver. The front lobe of the liver with this little cleft in it is the median lobe. Then we have the left lateral lobe. And then on this side is the right lateral lobe. If we lift the liver up, you'll notice there is no gallbladder. There is a gallbladder in humans, but not in rats. And this pouch structure here is the stomach. You can see from this angle, the esophagus enters the stomach right there. Then the stomach curves around and the first section is the duodenum. Now while we're here, this thing that kind of looks like a finger that goes across the stomach, that's the spleen. And this bumpy yellowish stuff is what remains of the pancreas, which is a gland and it doesn't preserve very well. So going back to the stomach, we're going to follow the stomach down. This is the duodenum. And then when you get to this curly stuff, this is the jejunum. If you stretch it out, you can see the mesentery and the mesenteric arteries that are in that jejunum. If you follow that all the way down, it's very long in the rat, you get to this pouch. This is the cecum. Humans have an appendix there. And the small intestine, which is, starts at the duodenum, goes to the jejunum, and then its last little stretch here where it enters into the cecum is the ileum. So it goes DJ ileum. Then as we follow the cecum up, it now becomes the large intestine. Okay? And the large intestine goes up, over, and down. This is the ascending colon. This is the transverse colon. And this is the descending colon that leads our heads out here at the rectum. These two little tubes, don't get those confused. Those are actually uterine horns and are part of the female reproductive system. And you can even follow those up and get to the ovary. And I think that about, oh, the bladder, let's see. This little nub right there is a urinary bladder. And it connects to the kidneys here. And sometimes you can find the ureter, which is the little tube that leads here from the kidney down to the, the bladder but it'd be kind of hard to find on some of these. Sometimes I can wiggle it and get it to kind of, oh, there it is, right there. It's very tiny. So kidney, ureter, bladder. All right, and that's it.